what is going on you guys today today we are going to be checking out a really really cool combo uh originally it was brought to my attention by my boy rob uh, while we were doing the pirelli deck profile and i thought this is definitely something that i need to look into for you guys so i was looking scouring the endless depths that is youtube and i could not find out how to do this so i tried to do it myself I don't know Infernoble Knights well enough to go ahead and do it. This is the end board for you guys who are wondering what we're going to be doing today. And this isn't even a good end board. I definitely messed up somewhere in that combo. So I just want to go ahead and show this to you guys how to go ahead and get this done. If you guys don't know what you are looking at right now, you are looking at the Great Shogun Sheehan, which I don't think we've seen relevant in like what 10 years or something crazy ever since six samurai was ever even a thing even when the came out with the secret six samurai it was still irrelevant but it is now extremely relevant because great shogun Sheehan says you can only your opponent can only activate one spell trap card per turn and then charlemagne negates one spell trap card per turn so which means your opponent is going to have to rely on only monster effects in order to break this board it's going to be really really cool you have some really big monsters you get to play some wacky cards like Rot 10, the Heavenly General, and the Ika, the Flame Buddy, which came out of uh, some pack. I don't know what pack it came. The, the combo itself is it's it's kind of long, it's complicated, guys. But I'm gonna go ahead and walk you guys through it. Guys, want to check out the original video so you guys can get a better in-depth explanation. Make sure you check out this guy uh, right over here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link to his uh, video in the description. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out a little bit more in-depth, more of the correct way. But I want you guys to go ahead here for me as well so I'm gonna go ahead and have this start from the beginning so basically all you need in order to get this entire combo is just any way to get to is sold essentially right what's the best way to get to a sold neo spatian connector which makes this a one card combo to get your entire combo set up you end up with gear free if you do it correctly again I messed up one part of the combo but I'll show you guys what that part was in you here in just a little bit so, we right, normal summon, our connector, connector's gonna special summon our uh, Neospatian Aqua Dolphin. That's gonna allow us to rip a card from our opponent's hand as well, at, uh, and burn, I believe, for 500 life points, so that's nice. So your opponent's already at four cards in their hand compared to your five. You're already getting a lot of advantage now with is sold. It says you can go ahead and search any warrior monster from deck to your hand. You just can't normal special summon, activates effects this turn. That's fine, because we're not gonna be doing it this turn, we're gonna be doing it on our opponent's turn. I have my juice here as well, just and go ahead and stay hydrated uh, because it's gonna be a long one so we're gonna go ahead and search Ika the flame buddy right from the start why are we searching this guy so this is a completely irrelevant card for the longest time but if this card is normal special summon you can target one face-up monster that in either player spell and trap card zone special summon it to your field you can target one other face-up monster you control equip that face-up monster to yada yada equip spell yada yada 500 attack okay that second part's relevant but we're really looking forward to be able to special summon cards from our spell and trap card zone because the one thing that infernoble does is put monsters in your spell and trap card zone and treat them as equip spells so we're gonna go ahead and hold on to this for a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and do normal infernoble plays for right now so i'm gonna display out for a sec First things first, we're going to do something that's not really uh, known in Inferno. We're going to go ahead and go for four. Normally here, one sec. Normally here, you would just do one. I'm assuming it would be either Durendal or the Phoenix Blade. Go for Renaud. Like I said, I'm still learning Inferno, so it's kind of still new to me. So forgive me if I'm not as well versed, but I'm going to go for four. And we're going to go ahead and summon out the Ogier, right? So with Ogier now on the field, we're going to go ahead and activate the effect. We're going to send the Turpin, and then we're going to activate the Phoenix uh, Phoenix Blades, who allow us to add it back to the hand. What it allows us to do is to equip the Ogier, and then we're going to go ahead and special summon out the Turpin. Uh, so we're going to be able to have two level fours on board. Let's play out. And then this is where I messed up. So you summon out your uh, King... Um, King of Noble Knights, Artorgus, basically King Arthur, really cool. Uh, so what this allows you to do is add, equip it essentially with up to three, I believe it was Noble Knights, uh, Noble Arms cards. So I accidentally equipped Almus. Well, you want to say this later on so you can get access to your gear free for later on. Uh, really all you need is going to be the Durandal and the Joyous because you are going to have to activate Joyous here in just a little bit. So that is where I messed up here in the combo guys, but you guys still will get a very, very good board as you guys just, just see. So we're going to go ahead and get that out. Uh, we're going to activate Durandal to search out the brand new card that just came out. We have our Infernoble Knight 
uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, so we're gonna call him Ricardo. Inferno Knight Ricardo. <laughs> and then we're gonna link summon guys into Ra Ten, the Heavenly General. Uh, again, it's one of those cards that just you don't really expect to do anything uh, for you at all. Which actually, this could come out really, really clutch in some uh, like a barrier statue type of decks to get that additional special summon on your opponent's turn, which is actually kind of interesting. So basically what this guy does is it takes two plus monsters with the same type. Obviously this entire deck is warrior, so no problem there. Once per turn during a standby phase, you can target one phase that monster this card points to. Uh, either one because it has three arrows, which is nice. Special summon one level four or lower with the same type as that monster from your hand to a zone this card points to. Yada yada yada, start of the battle phase, target one party opponent controls, destroy it, which is nice, don't get me wrong. But the main effect that we're going for is that first one. So. I'm gonna go ahead and take it from there. We're gonna activate Joyous. Uh, we are going to special summon out Ricardo. Ricardo is then gonna allow us to special summon back the Turpin, uh, which is cool. Which means we're gonna go into a Synchro 5. So we're gonna summon out one of the new girls. We're gonna summon out Angelica, Princess of the Noble Arms, which allows us to search the Museum card. Uh, the Museum's gonna go ahead and activate. Activate Defect, pay 1200. Gonna add us. Uh, a a Durendo. Another thing you can do is you, there you can play more quick equip spells because this deck is still in the testing phases stages. I only have four different equip spells in the main. That might change if this combo sticks in. Um, but this is where normally you would probably search the Almas and take it from there. But that's just something that you guys may want to take into consideration moving down the line. Just so you guys are aware. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and activate the Phoenix uh, Phoenix Blades. Go ahead and add that back to our hand by banishing out our Zold and King Arthur. Uh, equip, and then we're gonna go ahead and activate the effect, sending the gear freed, and then special summoning out the Roland from the extra deck for free. And then it allows us to go ahead and equip Turpin, and then the I believe the Fuel spell then allows us to go ahead and special summon out the Turpin. Uh, for free, which is nice, and then we're gonna go ahead and synchro nine into a Charles. Now, this is again where you would equip the Malice, so when you link it off, you get the Malice effect to add back the Gear Freed. But again, I didn't do that, so it is what it is. Uh, just to make you guys aware. Uh, so we're gonna go into Charlemagne, also known as Emperor Charles the Great, which is a big, big downgrade as far as names are concerned, because Charlemagne was dope it's not like a rapper name but that's beside the point we're gonna go ahead and keep going we're gonna equip the charles to it and that's gonna be nice and all but then we're gonna go ahead and do some more infernoble shenanigans we're going to end this by equipping the Oyer, the roland uh this can special summon itself back here in the end phase which is nice and everything and then the uh what's it called What's this card called again? Charlemagne? <laughs> so guys, because the Emperor Charles the Great is copying the effects of the Infernal Knight Emperor Charles, you are also going to be able to equip the uh, Crispel Almas, which again, I showed them before, whatever. And you're going to be able to equip, as this card states, one Fire Warrior monster from your deck as an equip spell. So we're going to go ahead and equip it with Shogun. So right now, this is no lock whatsoever, but this is where Rod 10 is going to come into play. We're going to go ahead and end our turn right there, guys. During the opponent's standby phase, we're going to activate Rot 10 to allow us to special summon out the Ika from our hand, which we originally searched from our is sold. That's the fir very first thing we did in the combo. And then by targeting the uh, Charlemagne, because it is a warrior, it allows us to go ahead and summon out the Ika. And then Ika's gonna activate her effect when this targets normal special summon target one face of monster in either player's spell trap card zone. We're gonna go ahead and target the Shogun Sheehan and allows us to special summon it for for you guys so this is the full lock for you guys i hope you guys did enjoy um i'm still learning inferno that's why i haven't released any type of deck profile for it yet but i mean it's it's tough it's tough going i haven't given up on it it's it's making my brain hurt quite a bit but i'm here for it you know um now ace is going to be the main deck it's going to be a main deck worthy combo i do not believe it's going to be a main deck worthy combo just because um a lot of it relies on you going first why would you lock your opponent to only one spell trap when you're going second uh, so it's going to be more like potentially like a side deck type option. So we'll see where it goes from there. But like I said, I'm still theorycrafting and still testing. So if you guys have any ideas, please let me know in the comment section down below. Help me uh, learn this deck because it, it is it is tough out here for for me guys. So again, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys do enjoy these types of combo videos, let me know as well by smashing that like button and hit subscribe. Plenty more videos coming up for you next week. And also I will be attending the Houston Regional on August 19th. So if you guys are there, make sure you guys go ahead and come on by and say hi. 
And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one.